Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the sourcing feature on Board Booster to consistently feed your own blog pins to group boards automatically without your having to do anything. So I wanna go to my scheduler and this right here contains every blog board that I'm on, whether it's a personal board or whether it's a group board. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come in and I'm gonna set up each of these boards individually. This will take a little bit of setup, but once it's done, it's done. And you can just sit back and not even use Pinterest if you don't want to. Okay, so for instance, let's pick this one. Best Kids and Parenting Group Board. Okay, what I wanna do is I wanna come in to this um, gear icon. All right, this is telling me um, how often I'm going to pin to this board. Now, what I had to do was I had to go into Pinterest and I had to look at this board on Pinterest, look at what it was doing, how often there were pins being pinned to it. And on this particular board, there weren't a whole lot of pins being pinned to it. So I didn't want to just completely spam the board with my own pins. So I set it to only pin every two days. Um, now some of my other boards that I've set up are really, really active boards and I could pin multiple times a day to other group boards. So you just have to go into Pinterest and take a look and see what the group board is looks like and how active it is. So anyways, on this board, I'm going to have something pinning to it every two days. I've got it set up at 12 p.m. And the reason for that time is just based on times that my other pins are going out. So you have to look at your overall strategy. Um, like. I'm trying to stagger them, you know, so that some of my group boards are getting pinned to in the morning, some are in the afternoon, and some are in the evening, so that not all of my pins are going out at one time of the day. So you just have to keep that in mind as you're setting it up to try and stagger that pin to different boards at different times. And this, this will add a random delay, so, um, you know, if you accidentally set up two to pin at 12 p.m. It'll just, you know, maybe uh, pin it at 12.02 or something. Um, and then it looks a little bit more natural too so that not every pin is just going out right on the dot. Um, so this right here is where it gets good. You can choose your source board. And this is coming from my personal board which which contains my blog posts about parenting. Now, let me back up a little bit and explain to you um, what I did with this. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to my Pinterest profile. And what I did, you can see Imperfect Homemaker, kids activities, I think, Imperfect Homemaker, recipes, Imperfect Homemaker, Christian motherhood, Imperfect Homemaker, homemaking. So what I did was I divided up um, into whatever the topics for my blog are. And, um, you know, I had uh, six, seven, eight, I don't know. Um, but I divided those up into uh, smaller topics. And what that enables me to do is to join uh, group boards and feed those group boards my blog content. Okay, so if I've got kids activities, these are all kids activities that are on my blog posts. Okay, I'll just show you the board real quick. Okay, every single one of these is, is a kid's activity from my blog, okay? And um, so I come to my board booster and I uh, find, this isn't a kid's activity, but let's just pretend it is. I find a kid's activities group board and then I would, I would say, okay, 
I'm going to source this from my kids activities board. And so what that's going to do is every two days, it's going to pull a pin from my kids activities board and it's going to pin it to the group board. So you've probably heard that you need to be pinning to group boards, but the question is always how in the world do I remember to go in and pin and remember what I've pinned to what board and when I pinned it there. If you take the time to set up this sourcing, you don't ever have to remember any of that again. Um, so, um, let's see. So I've got somewhere, I have a parenting board. I don't, I don't see it. My boards are a little or unorganized right now. Um, but anyway, somewhere I've got a parenting, parenting tips board. And so that's what I'm doing with this board. I'm sourcing parenting tips from my blog and I'm pinning them to the group board. Um, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that. Uh, let's see, where am I? I'm going to do that on every single group board that I have. I'm going to say, okay, I've got, um, okay, I have, I have a section of recipes on my board. So guess what I need to do? I need to source this to come from my recipes board. So all right, this is where you find it initially under advanced settings. Okay, um, source board is what you want. So I want to come down here and I want to find my recipes board. So that's going to pin everything um, directly from my recipe board right onto the group board automatically. Um, I don't want 10 pins per day though. I don't want that many. Like I said, you gotta um, pay attention to how active the board is. You may want one pin a day. You might want a pin every other day. Um, some boards I have up to three pins a day, but that's how you're gonna do that. You're gonna um, you're gonna come up. You're gonna go to Pinterest and you're gonna. I, I just recommend. I recommend starting with your main blog board, the one that has all of your content. And then looking through it and saying, okay, what categories can I divide this into? So can I divide it into recipes and kids activities and homeschool ideas? And then create a board for each one of those smaller topics. And then you can join group boards having to do with those smaller topics. So, you know, I've got a frugal, I'm on a frugal uh, group board. So if I have a topic on my blog about, you know, that contains 10 or 12 blog posts about being frugal, I'll put those onto one board and then I will um, pull those posts right onto this group board. Um, so, you know, uh, here's a board about motherhood. I have all of my posts about motherhood all housed on one board and then um, it's going to pull right from that board right onto this group board about motherhood. So hopefully I was able to explain that in a way that makes sense and that is how you can feed all of your group boards automatically without having to remember what you pinned and where you pinned it and when you pinned it and then remember to go back and pin it again next month because those are all important things to do. The more often you pin to those group boards, the more often you have a chance for your pins to get out there. And the more often your pins get out there, the more chance there is of people visiting your blog. So you want to pin as often as you can, but um, keeping track is a very big pain. So this way, you don't have to keep track. You just have to do the initial setup and then you are done for the rest of your life or until you join another group board and you need to set that one up. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to ask me and I will help you as best as I can. So have fun getting that set up.